Hey my friends, hey this is a video response to your question of the week number 11, my friend Moses. Uh, I'm really liking these questions of the week by the way, it really kind of keeps us on our toes. Uh, anyway, um, this is kind of irrelevant but I'm back on my Zoloft so I'm not completely back to normal but you know just started again today so it's just like, anyway uh, Pardon the blah. Anyway, uh, right. So I was with my friends once, and we went to a Korean restaurant that had really, really good bibimbap. <laughs> uh, bibimbap. Bib, 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 bibimbap. <laughs> anyway, and um, I, I had pork, of course, because I love pork and Asian food. Uh, they ordered beef, and they ate with forks, but I just dug right in with the with the chopsticks and uh, they ate really slowly but I think maybe I saw it on a TV show once but something about I think somehow I learned that in Asian cultures eating fast is a sign of respect and most people in America grow up you know like if you eat too fast and messy then it's rude and all that burping is rude but you know I think in most Asian cultures that eating fast and burping and stuff shows a sign of respect to the cook you know because it's like you know it's like you really really into it and so it's like <laughs> anyway um when we order our food uh I said annyeong haseyo soup ni da I didn't know a word of Korean that's all I knew I was just like new annyeong haseyo and I know that's putting eat ni da or uh or just saying like uh Samnida or something at the end of the at the end of the sentence just showed respect or something that is very polite. I I heard it from um, a, 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 in my Spanish class last summer, or yeah, it was last summer. Uh, he was from Korea and he goes to South Korea to um you know uh, live in there with live with his family and help out his uh his mom's restaurants. She owns restaurants apparently. Anyway, uh, so he. Uh, he told me a little bit about about stuff like that because he sat right behind me in my Spanish, in Spanish class and he asked me questions about Spanish. He was all like, "What?" Anyway, uh, so anyway, I I said that and instantly there uh, the the hosts the um, the waitress and wa waiters and waitress. There's a also I think a Korean family in the back having a giant conversation in Korean, just having a blast. And I was in the back of my mind. I was like. Wow, I wish I could just be over there and just be part of that conversation, like be like the family is like I at the point at that point I didn't even start studying Chinese yet really. So I only really knew Japanese at that point and some Spanish. And uh anyway, she asked, "Oh, you know Korean?" And I'm like, "No, just that much." <laughs> and then, you know, they they even gave us some free miso soup, I think, because because they they saw how much I liked the bibimbap because I was eating so fast. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, at that point I was like, "Wow, I really need to, I really want to learn Korean." I was like, you know, I I all this Japanese and then Chinese and then, you know, I, a couple weeks ago or maybe a month ago I lost track of time because the time is so blah. <laughs> anyway, um, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to sit down and just jump right in. <laughs> uh, anyway, it wasn't really anything about shame or anything like that. You know, uh, I think I was, uh, at one point, uh, I was going through the news and I noticed that I really like um, Arabic-speaking countries' news formats. I like how the the Arabic streams on the bottom, and I like how it comes from the other side, I like how it's like the opposite, and I was like, you know what, I really, I really wish I knew some Arabic, so I could at least say more than Asa Salam, <laughs> anyway, uh, that about does it for the question of the week, as I said earlier in, in Facebook, I'm going to do a review of, I um, can't really see it, um, I found this once at um, UC Davis, by the way, this is a, uh, Something you don't really find. You can you can. I don't think you can find this anywhere. Uh, it was someone's uh, college thesis. They did it on Chinese history. So I I found this in a in a box that said free books, 
at UC Davis, and I took them all home. I was just going to like, you know what, there, there was a bunch of Chinese books, but this one was all about uh, reinventing local traditions, culture, uh, lo local tradition, politic, culture, and identity, early 19th century, Suzhou. Uh, I don't really know anything about Chinese history, but that's interesting. And it, I, I also got a bunch of books that were like a lot of essays and stuff about about uh, about Chinese. And this one is about the uh, the water margin. Uh, I think it's Shui Hu John, Shui Hu John de Li. Uh, no, Lai 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 Li. Uh, Nang uh, Nang. Uh, uh, two. And it's like it's just a bunch of essays about about the uh, the famous uh, Chinese play, or yeah, I don't know if it has excerpts in it. I don't really know enough Chinese. I just read it. <laughs> but um, yes, I have a uh, uh, Nihongo Daichi. Uh, no, uh, I, for, I you know every single day I amazed that. No matter how much I learn of Japanese, I still don't know certain kanji. <laughs> anyway, uh, Daichi. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna actually review this uh, at a certain point, but it's a very. Um, I haven't actually gone through. I've gone through and studied with this. It's really interesting. It's all in Japanese. Uh, it comes with uh, translation books. Uh, yeah, here it is, uh, translation of main text, and it has interesting grammar notes in this one. Uh, you know, books is a very volume to the to use with elementary Japanese. Daichi and it includes translation of the conversation. Anyway, um, very interesting course I got for free from a friend on lang8.com, which is a website where you can write things and native speakers can correct it for you and in turn you can correct their uh, their entries in your native language mine is English of course it's completely free and anyway this is a very interesting book I'm gonna do a complete review uh, within the neck within this week but as you can see it just has lots of pictures and you know it's like a standard uh, about high school level uh, uh, course, very kind of, kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really good, actually, uh, it has everything really you need for a, a course, and it, it, uh, it assumes that you use something outside of the course, because it doesn't really explain, it just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't explain, it just introduces kanji without really, um, explaining it. It's just gradually, it's more focused on conversation. It has dialogues. It has, comes with a, a well, an interesting map of Japan. Uh, it comes with CD. So it has dialogue. I haven't really used it because I, <laughs> I get kind of impatient with, um, with integrated courses like that, with, with dialogue, but, you know, I should challenge myself. Anyway, uh, kind of off topic, uh, as I usually am, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, now I'm back on my meds, uh, so, yay, anyway, hear from you later, bye-bye.